So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a cold and blustery day here in western Pennsylvania. I believe that uh, winter has arrived. We're getting a few snow flurries right now. We had some pretty strong uh, snow squalls there earlier. Nothing's really sticking to the ground though because it's well, it's 34 degrees right now and the ground's plenty warm. And I think this weekend it's supposed to hit 60 degrees. So we'll see what happens. But I just got home from work a few minutes ago, jumped out of my work truck, got in my personal truck and hooked up the trailer here because I need to go get some pipe, some conduit for the electric line for the new building. Apparently, uh, I have to run conduit the entire way. I was not aware of that. That's not how we did it for the house, but I guess things have changed and you know, that all has to get inspected. So I'm headed up to uh, Interstate Pipe to buy 220 feet of Schedule 40 3 inch conduit and then the big sweeping 90s, a riser. I think that's about all that I need. Yeah, that should do it. The riser and the 90s, they've got to be Schedule 80. And then what I'll do, I'll dig the line probably uh, this weekend. I'd made my one call, that'll clear by the weekend. Dig the line, put the pipe in. I'll put a rope through it and I talk to the electricians. I'll have everything ready for them to hook up the electrical service and uh, then they get it inspected then the power company will hook it up. So that's kind of the plan right now. But yeah, this is going to be an added expense that uh, I wasn't aware of. This is probably going to cost, I don't know, about $700 just for the conduit because it's 220 feet or 240 feet. And it's about uh, $3 a foot. So yeah, it'll be over 700 bucks, probably closer to $800. But uh, I guess might as well do it right. You know what I mean? But anyway, we're going to head up to Interstate Pipe right now. I'll uh, pick up that load of conduit. I'll report back in a bit. All right, I am pulling into uh, Interstate Pipe and Supply. The snow kind of let up a little bit. It's not too bad. All right, I got uh, 11 joints of this 3-inch. This is Schedule 40, 20 footers. My trailer's 18. I'm right up here to the jack. I think I'm all right as long as I don't turn super sharp. I got her strapped down good. It's not going anywhere. But, yeah, I'm going to head back to the house. Looks like it uh, snowed a little bit while I was gone. But I made it home without uh, caving in the tailgate. I was just on the phone there with uh, our internet provider. <laughs> I'm trying to get an answer from them on where they're going to bring the uh, internet to the new building. Someone's supposed to call me back in the morning. You know, I don't know if they're going to come from the, uh, the house or down on the pole where I'm bringing the power. I would prefer that they come from the pole down by the road because I'm already going to have a trench open. It's a little bit further, but uh, that saves me having to tear up another section of uh, ground there, you know, near the house over to the building. So hopefully they can do that. But we're going to come from that pole down there, come across the yard right here at the end of this fabric, and we'll put the meter. right in here somewhere that's the plan for the electric so as soon as i hear back from the uh cable slash internet provider i'll know how dig the deep you know how deep to dig the ditch and all that and uh i'll be able to get started on it this weekend hopefully well it's going to get dark real soon and uh plus the weather isn't really cooperating to get anything done here this evening but i think what i'm going to do is hop in a side by side run over the old apple orchard I put a trail camera up there probably only four days ago, something like that. But I'm going to go pull that memory card and we'll see if anything's on it. Also going to remember to take a chainsaw with me because uh, what day was it? Sunday afternoon? Man, did we have the wind. I'm, I'm curious to see how many trees are down on the trails because uh, we did. We had like 60 mile an hour gusts. It was nasty there Sunday afternoon. So I'm going to grab a saw, a couple things. We'll hop in the side by side and we'll run over the old apple orchard. By the way, that conduit on the trailer, there's 11 
20 footers that schedule 40 one 10 footer that schedule 80 because if it comes up out of the ground that stub has to be schedule 80 uh, the 290s and some glue eight hundred and forty three dollars uh, I wasn't expecting that to tell you the truth but uh, it is what it is there is two big dough right there they really stand out even with that little bit of snow on the ground I can't believe it. I haven't found uh, one tree across the trail yet. I have been uh, just starting to look into those cell cameras. You know, the... Uh, where are we at? Yeah. Yeah, the price of the uh the cellular ones have come down dramatically. But I don't know how well they work. If anyone's familiar with them or has one that you can recommend, let me know in the comments and how much the uh service costs. All right, just got back over to the house here. Like I said, I can't believe I didn't find any down trees on the way over there. We had so much wind the other day, it was unbelievable. But I got that memory card in my pocket. I'm gonna take it in, download it right now. If I have any pictures on there, I'll put them on right now. All right, I got a lot of pictures. Uh, this is me right after I set the camera up at 6.24 p.m. on 11.12. It wasn't too long after that. Uh, there's a little buck came in. That was at 7.16 p.m. that same evening. That's the same deer right there. There's a doe at 7.45 p.m. A little fawn. That's at 10.50 p.m. there. I think that's the same buck as earlier in the night, but I'm not 100% sure. Another doe. That's a buck. That's that same buck. This is where things get uh, kind of interesting. This is 4 a.m. on 11-14, okay? 4.01 a.m., 4.03 a.m., and then at 4.10 a.m., we have two coyotes. So that was only about uh, seven minutes since that deer went through. There's one coyote right in the middle, and you can see over to the right another set of eyes. That's another one there. And there was nothing until 8.01 a.m. Now that's a different buck than earlier, another small one. There's a doe. Something scared that doe. A little buck. Another doe. This is pretty good considering uh, 
you know, this is just kind of on a trail. There's no food right there or anything like that. Not like a feeder or corn on the ground or anything. They really seem to pass through here. And as you saw earlier, that's right there uh, at the corner of the old apple orchard where you head into the neighbor's field. This is where this is all happening at. This little buck here, he's been coming through that area non-stop. That's a different buck there. Smaller even than the last one. But anyway, if you uh, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, it only takes a couple minutes. I'll drop some of these uh, trail camera pictures in on occasion, do a little commentary like this. But yeah, in this group, no real big bucks or anything, but uh, a bunch of deer, a couple coyotes. It's amazing what goes on, you know, out in those woods every night while you're in the house sleeping. Well, anyway, this was just a short little video to keep you in the loop. I wasn't able to upload one yesterday. It's getting tougher and tougher, you know, with it getting dark early and the weather really not cooperating. However, things are going to pick up here in just a bit. Like I mentioned the other day, over Thanksgiving, I'm going to be off 11 days. Over Christmas, I'll be off 16 days. I can't wait for that. You know, when you're off from work and you're not sure if your work truck's going to start when you go back, you know, that was some pretty good time off. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. Like always, say if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.